Now it's time for another five minute mystery. Our story takes place in Green Gap, a small town in Southern Cavern District. Bring, bring. Green Gap Hospital, Doctor Mazzella speaking. Doctor, doctor, there's been an accident at out at Echo Cavern. Accident? What kind of accident? Two men were exploring and they got lost last night. One's unconscious. You better come quick before he's dead. I hope you know how to get out to the Echo Cavern, Lim. With a job of being a town constable and ambulance driver, I reckon I know all there is to know about this country. Ever been in the cavern, Lim? One, Doc Melville. When I was a boy, I nearly got my hide tan off of my paw. Echo Cavern is a might treacherous place. You mean it's too easy to get lost in there? Not only that, Doc, that is that cavern gas carbine something. You mean carbon dioxide? Yeah, that's it. All of a sudden, you run into some of that stuff, and before you know it, bing, you're out. Still, people seem to go exploring there. More fools to be. I wouldn't go into them caverns, at least till I was not with a, a dog. A dog? What for? Well, if a dog kneels over, then you know the gas is collecting. <laughs> I'm afraid, Mr. Gaddy, your friend is dead. Poor Pacey, it was from the gas was in his dog. That's what it looks like to me. Why did you go into that cavern anyway? Pasty asked me to. he never seen a cat cave before. How far did you go in? Well, it didn't seem very far. All of a sudden, we lost our way. Where was that? Well, how do I know? Where's about... It was if we was lost. We tried to trace our way back, but it wasn't no use. Pacey started to get scared. It kind of, it's kind of funny to see a big guy like that get scared. Yes, he is rather big, isn't he? Yes, six foot four. The mob used to call us Mutt and Jeff. And then what happened? Well, I was a little scared myself, but we stuck together, you know, walking in the dark with only my flash from the car. All of the sudden, Pat's kneeled over. From the gas? Yeah, that's what I figured. His head hit on a rock, and I guess that's just about what finished him off. I suppose you reckon yourself pretty lucky, mister. Yeah, sure. I figured it's because I'm only five foot three and that I got out of there alive. The gas must have been just about a foot over my head. Yeah, and what do you think about that, Doc Melville? I think you better arrest Mr. Gaddy for the murder of his friend Patsy. What was the full on Gaddy story? Do you know it? In that moment, we'll hear from Lim and Dr. Melville. And now let's see whether you're a deserving as Lim and the doctor. Hey, copper, let me put my hands down there. Tired? When well, you're in Green Gap's jail, not before. Ah, uh, I don't get it. It was a good story. I still can't figure out how you found it. Lim tells me they used to take dogs into the cavern because the gas is heavier than air. It collects on the floor. If you really meet gas, you would have new over first before, you, before your pal passed you. Well, what do you know? I tell nowadays in this murder racket you need a college education.